This demonstration will introduce you to mask paths. You can create custom paths to animate your text using masks. Create a new text layer by selecting the type tool and typing anywhere in the frame. On the right is my character menu, where I can choose the properties of my text, typeface, size, and color. If you don't see it, go to Window, Character. With the text layer selected in the timeline, use the pen tool to create a mask. With the text layer selected, if you draw on it with the pen tool, it will create a mask on the text layer by default. Go to Text Path Options and make sure in the drop down menu that your text is connected to your mask. The first margin is the property line we will be animating. First margin refers to the position of your first letter. In my case, that is the letter T. Last margin refers to the letter H. They are just reference points. In my example, I am only keyframing on the first margin property line. Don't be confused by the names. If you put one keyframe on the first margin and one on the last margin, nothing will move. Only keyframe one line. The text will start off screen. At the start, click the stopwatch to make a keyframe. Then, I'm going to advance the playhead forward and center the text. I'm going to copy and paste this keyframe for a hold. The hold is really important. It will allow our viewers to read the text. After that, a few frames later, I'll exit the text. My entrance and exits are short and sharp. I hold for a moment so that my text is legible. Nothing is worse than a line of text that wanders in the frame, floats in the frame and never stops, and exits before you can read it. It's really tiring on the eyes to try to read text that is in motion. So make your entrances and exits short and your holds long. You can also alter the path. Click and hold on the pen tool and select the Convert Vertex tool. Click on the path point to convert it. Stretch out the handles if you wish. You can also convert Bezier vertices back to linear vertices with the Convert tool. You can add or subtract a vertex by clicking and holding on the pen tool and selecting the Add or Subtract Vertex. There are lots of possibilities when you animate your text with a mask path. How do you think you can use this skill in your projects?